Taoism is a religious or philosophical tradition which emphasizes living in harmony with the Tao or the Way. Lao Tao was a Chinese philosopher credited with founding the philosophical system of Taoism. He is best known as the author of the Tao Te Ching. Not much is known about the founder, Lao Tao. Some scholars speculate that he never existed in the first place. A story told by the historian Si McQueen tells of how a young Confucius went to visit Lao to ask him questions regarding history. Confucius was so impressed by the master Lao that he could only compare him to a great mythical dragon and took his advice to heart. Lao began concentrating more on his inner wealth than outward and dedicated himself to philosophy. Legends say that Lao became disillusioned with war, violence, and corruption in China, and he decided to leave. On Lao Tao's way out of China, a guard would not let the old man go until Lao wrote down his teachings. Lao then wrote down the Tao Te Ching, which became the sacred books of Taoism. He rode off on a water buffalo, and no one ever saw him again. This story is considered fictional, but is known to have influenced the greatest of philosophers of China. Taoism spread mostly across China during the Tang Dynasty from 618 BCE to 907 BCE, which saw the growth and refinement in Chinese culture. Taoism never really diffused out of China, but spread throughout China. Taoism was encouraged by the royal house, and Taoism started to spread in the lower class society ever since the Ming Dynasty. During that time, people were lower class people and had a vulgar sense of faith in religions. Taoism became a religion of many features and ideas with nothing concrete to explain the meaning of it. Taoist thought focuses on longevity, genuineness, health, detachment, spontaneity, and Wu Wei. Basic philosophy is that Tao is the true nature of the world. It is the all-encompassing process of the universe. Nothing is fixed, static, or non-moving. Everything is transforming constantly. Qi is another basic element in Taoist philosophy. It is the energy of action, existence, and lives in all things organic. It is a primary influence of Tao. Throughout the Tao Te Ching, analogies are in frequent use. The universe, cosmos, earth, and mankind are all referred to indirectly and sometimes directly. Wu Wei is the philosophy that Taoists are trying to achieve living in harmony with the Tao, which is the driving force and source behind everything that exists. It is often compared to water. Water flows without awareness, continuing even if something in, is in its path, such as a rock. Taoism does not say the man's will is a problem of understanding Wu Wei. Rather, it holds the belief that man must place his will in the harmony of the natural universe. If man decides to place his will against the world, he will disrupt the current's peace and go against the flow. A good example of man placing will against the world is global warming. The seasons are part of natural order, but with the world heating up due to increased emissions, man's greed has caused the natural balance to be upset. Another is the damming of a river. This upset in natural order leads to flooding, which is an undesirable effect, and in order to resolve one's will, one must admonish dualistic thoughts and only conduct acts through nature and spontaneity. There is a careful balance between studying and following Taoism. Modern students must understand that the mo more one comprehends the Tao, the less one knows. Letting go and becoming passive is the key to Taoism.
Taoism is mainly practiced in places such as China, Taiwan, and Southeast Asia. As of today, there are about 20 million Taoist followers worldwide. Many live quite simple lives, where they embrace simplicity with few possessions. It is common between most Taoists to practice their rituals, such as purification and meditation. Though there are other rituals, many are complicated and mainly performed by priests before their congregation. However, they do come together to celebrate. There are not many holidays celebration in the Taoist religion. Taoists do celebrate the first lunar month because of its origins in China, where most followers reside. This shows their simplicity as well. So what we want is a uh, balanced energy throughout. We want to have a warm, lukewarm energy. We don't want to be too hot or too cold. So it balances out the yin and the yang aspects of our body. So first one. The second one in this simple four is the perineum between the sexual organs and the anus. The next one is the Ming Min, which is opposite the navel. Uh, the Chinese call it the Ming Min. It's the point between the kidneys. And four is the crown of the head. And so if you just focus on those four, that gives you the four directions. And then the center is inside between these two. The center is the fifth direction there, right, right there, in between the navel and the Ming Min. And so just a simple Qigong exercise like this, after you've woken up the awareness here in these different places, can start to move that energy. So you're thinking about your crown, think of, put tongue to the roof of the mouth, think about moving the energy down to the navel, perineum, up, and back down. Today, Taoism is mainly practiced in China and Taiwan. It also has been spread throughout other parts of Asia and the world. Religion is closely monitored in China. All recognized religions have a designated leader, leader which are loyal to the Communist Party. Of the five recognized faiths, Taoism is one, though still a minority. There is an estimated 20 million followers worldwide, 30,000 of which are North American. A large portion of Taoists live in rural China where the universal appeal and ease of access create the perfect way of life for small farmers and workers. Though a minority, recent years have been prosperous to Taoism as China grows in strength. The recent growth in Taoists caused the amount of priests to increase, albeit with a lack of proper training. Many patrons have created temples and sites that reflect the tranquility and inner resolve that Taoism encourages. However, some who built temples see it as a source of revenue, selling gifts or incense to those traveling. This is a source of internal conflict for Taoists, as making money should never be a primary motive to building temples. Nothing in the world is softer than water, yet nothing is better at overcoming the hard and strong. This is because nothing can alter it. That the soft overcomes the hard and the gentle overcomes the aggressive is something that everybody knows, but none can do themselves. Therefore, the sages say, the one who accepts the dirt of the state becomes its master. The one who accepts its calamity becomes king of the world. Truth seems contradictory.